Okay, here we have two amazing kites. We've got the, um, I think that's the ozone chrono, I think it is. I'm not really sure what it is, but anyway, it's, a, it's an ozone kite. And then we have the um, Spleen X19, a classic kite. Spleen's an interesting company. They used to make some really amazing foils um, and amazing inflatables as well. And um, they stopped making the foils for some unknown reason stupid and uh, they just stuck with the inflatables and um the inflatables are crap i i bought a whole heap of them you know thinking they were okay and they, they fly okay you know but they just don't relaunch out of the water and they fall out of the sky um which you know it's like not all about performance you know those safety aspects make a difference if you, you if you're a learner and you've got a you know a kite that just drops out of the sky all the time it's not good anyway i, I told them the problem and they just totally ghosted me they just refused to return my calls, didn't want to know about it, and just basically, you know, said, fuck you, uh, which is a shame. Companies do that, and everybody should know with Spleen. Be careful when you buy some stuff off Spleen, because they're crap. I was with Spleen for about 10, 12 years, you know, supporting their products, selling their products, everything, and they just, uh, one little problem, you know, which could have been fixed, and they just dumped me, like, just like that, you know? I didn't want to know about it. But what happened here is, um, this is a friend of mine, Shannon had this kite and um, never used it. And he was really kind enough to give it to me. But I test loaned it and it's old. I mean, it might look new, but it's been bashed, trashed or something. And it's all stretched. So it just doesn't fly correct. In ultralight wind, it's okay, but it's a bit, it drops the edges. It's a bit unsafe. It's not a comfortable kite to fly anymore. When they're, when they're good, they're really, really good. But this one's pretty much had it. And this one here, Kevin, is leaving to go to South Africa. And uh, he damaged it, he broke a few of the bridles, and he didn't want to carry it for it. And he felt sorry for it when he gave it to me. This is a really nice, they're both really nice kites, but this is a newer version. And uh, I've snapped, see the bridles here. i snapped that, that, and a few things. Now, nothing major. So what I'm going to try to do is take the bridles of this one and put it on this one. And this one doesn't have a really good landing method. It's got a safety system, but it's only attached to one of the, one of the trailing edge lines. So when you try and land it, it's a bit awkward for a big kite. So this one's got a fifth line on it, which is ideal for big kites. You can land them and launch them anywhere you want. So I'm taking the line of this one, the fifth line of this one, and putting it on this one. The problem is it doesn't have a center bridle to attach. So I'm just going to set it off center a little bit, which should work all right. So it'll make it into a fifth line kite which will make it a very, very safe and easy kite to fly. Um, and it just puts both aspects together and it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful kite. So um, I had to wait for a day when there's no wind. Today there's no wind. There will be wind later on. And uh, because now, at this time of the year, we get the light wind days, basically 8 to 10 knots, 12 knots, pretty much every day, east, south, east, north, east. Light winds. Beautiful days for the big kites. Um, the guys got the inflatables. They just sit and watch me, but... With an 18 meter foil kite, um, you can get kite surfing in six, seven knots, jumping and having a lot of fun. So, you know, those days where most inflatables and IKO guys sit around the beach going, oh, there's no wind. <laughs> they need to expand the horizons and try something different, you know, and, um, you know, have more fun in the sport rather than just sit there watching me because they get pissed off at me because I'm always kite surfing. You know? Anyway, let's get this together and uh, do the transfer over and. Um, out of these two kites, make myself one awesome kite. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Shannon. Hey, okay, I uh, finally finished rebuilding the uh, the ozone. Then I realised one thing, which is a little bit annoying, which could save me a lot of hassle, is that the the X19 was actually had a broken bridle. That's why it wasn't flying well. So I could have just fixed the bridle and had two good kites. Well, this one would be fixed anyway. It's fixed better. This one's, I mean, out of both kites, the Ozone is a better kite. It's a newer kite, a faster kite, a much better kite than the, the Ozone. But saying that, I mean, that's still repairable. I can still rebuild that and get it back to, to where it was later on. When this one fails, I've got a spare one I just got to work with. But if, actually, it's fit five line now, and it's been put together hopefully correctly, and we'll see and see how it performs out there. The wind's just picked up there in southerly. They expect to be a big storm coming up. Should be up at 40 knots today. So I'm going to pack up this stuff up and head up to the beach and see how much fun we can have down there.